Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're good. Today I weigh 101.2, so nice little bit of progress. Uh, nothing to shout about, but uh, progress is progress. So I'm actually having breakfast today because I'm gonna be honest, I am absolutely starving. So this is gonna be my first meal, pre-workout, five eggs scrambled with some uh, salt, and I'm gonna put some of this Chipotle Tabasco on this stuff is so good. Um, the eggs are scrambled with coconut oil as well. That's a little hack for you is if you're, um, is if you're dieting, use coconut oil because it's, it will stimulate your metabolism. Um, they actually gave coconut oil to, I think it was cattle, to try and fatten them up. And what they found is uh, the cattle actually got leaner. So yeah, nice little hack for you there is to use coconut oil when you're cooking, um, when you're cooking foods with oil over any other oil because it's gonna help you stimulate, stimulate your ap appetite and help you lose fat. Jesus, can't get my words out this morning. Um, eggs, I haven't had eggs for a while actually, but they're such an underrated food. So easy to cook, so nutritious. Um, yeah, let's have a chase. Mmm, so good. So yeah, the plan today is to hit legs. Um, usually I train legs tomorrow, but I've got a collab tomorrow, so we're doing legs today and uh, just changing things around. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this now. Okay guys, feeling pretty good now. After having five eggs, a banana, and some watermelon, what a difference having a bit of food makes. So today is leg day. I'm gonna start off with calf raises. I might not show you all five sets. Probably gonna do about five sets on this because um, this is a main focus for me at the moment. If there's one muscle group I need to grow the most, I'd say it's probably calves. So that's why I'm starting my leg day first with calves, going straight to the full stack as well. But whatever muscle groups, I've said this before, but whatever muscle groups you train first in a workout, you've got the most energy, so they're gonna get the most growth. Hence why I'm starting a leg workout with carbs. Oh, one thing I seriously underestimated is how sore my legs would be from the walking. Like yesterday, I only did an hour walking, but every day for this past, like since doing the barley shreds thing, um, I've been walking between one and two hours every day. And now it's getting to the point that like, my legs are just constantly sore every single day. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna do any heavy squats today because I've also got a bit of a dodgy knee. So we're gonna get creative and think of some uh, different exercises to do, but obviously I'm still gonna do carbs first because that's my biggest priority. Another reason why I'm so sore is because my calories are so low. Like the last two days I've eaten 1500 calories. So that's over a thousand calorie deficit. So I think the, the walking alone, if I was at maintenance or in a surplus, uh, you know, I wouldn't have as much DOMS, but the fact I'm in a deficit and doing so much walking, it's, uh, it's really kind of taking its toll on my legs at the moment. But we're just gonna press on and get it done regardless. Set three. Okay, set four.
Okay, last set. I'm just blasting through these short rest periods because I'm doing the full stack. So if you ever find yourself doing a machine and you're doing the full stack and you want to make it harder, what you can do is you can perform the reps slower so you have more time on the tension. You can do shorter rest periods, which are also going to make the reps harder. You can do more volume, more reps, obviously. There's many ways to make the exercise harder without actually just putting the weight up. Okay, so next exercise number two. I'm gonna do some walking lunges today. I've just got 20 kg dumbbells either side. I need to go heavier on that. Okay, set to 30 kg aside. Okay, set three. Okay, cool. This is exercise number three. Sled drag, I believe. This is really good for knee health. This is a bit of rehab, but also it's just great for strengthening your knees, uh, ankles, legs. Such a good exercise, this. This is just a bit of a warm up right now. And yeah, this is all you do. You just walk back like this once you add the weight on this it gets a lot harder okay
Just added a bit more weight on. If you'll notice I'm just bending at the knees. My upper leg's not really doing much. It's all, all in the lower leg. Oh God, it fucking burns. Ah. Okay, set three. Exercise number four, leg extension. You can't have a leg day without doing leg extension. One of my favorite leg exercises. We're going straight to the full stack because it's just what I do, you know? Just what I do. Make sure you get the seat all the way back. So I'd actually like to get a greater range of motion than this, but I can't, I'm just too tall. So this is as good as it gets. When the session starts getting tough, you want to remind yourself, are you okay with being average? Or do you want to be exceptional? I know for me, I never want to be average. Okay, last sound here. Come on, James, you fucking pussy. Final exercise, lion hamstring curl. Mm. Mm. 
And the reason I'm doing hamstrings last is because I really don't care about hamstrings that much, to be honest. Like how many people actually know it if a guy's got sick hamstrings? Like if you're into bodybuilding or physiques or anything like that, you're gonna notice hamstrings maybe, but most people don't really give two shits about hamstrings. And plus, uh, I don't really, I don't really care about them that much. <laughs> uh, sit too. Ah, okay, last set. Okay, so that's five exercises. We did calves, walking lunges, sled pull, leg extension, leg curl. Now, to be honest, that might look like a bit of a pussy workout, but I've had a great workout. I don't know whether it's because I ate something beforehand, but I don't feel like I've accumulated a lot of fatigue, but I've got a nice, my legs feel sufficiently pumped and worked all over. And that's often something that's massively overlooked with training is like how much fatigue are you accumulating with each training session? If every training session you're doing deadlifts, you're doing squats, you're doing wide grip pull-ups, the bent over rows, the deadlifts, all the heavy compound movements all the time, you're just gonna, you need more rest, you need more days off. And you might get stronger doing that but that might not be best for actually building muscle and focusing on hypertrophy, if that is your goal. So I would consider this session a great success, considering how low the calories are right now and considering how I was feeling this morning. I'd say that's a good workout. All right guys, it's lunchtime. And today we have beef burrito bowl with quinoa. So you see we've got some beans, some salsa, some sweet corn, some quinoa obviously, and a lot of beef. I didn't have beef for two days, which is the longest I've gone without beef in a long time. So let's just do a quick taste test. Mm. I'd say this is the best meal met, best meal yet from them. Calories and macros for this meal, 64 protein, 37 fats, 48 carbs, for a total of 779 calories.